Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that starting on the 16th of September, modern authentication methods are now needed to continue syncing Outlook email in non-Microsoft email apps. And this is because Microsoft is moving from basic authentication to modern authentication, and that video will be linked um, down below and in the end screen. Now, my reason for mentioning that video is because Microsoft has announced that they have fixed an issue where some users were unable to sign in or add a Gmail account to Classic Outlook. Now, for this, we're just going to head over to some images provided by Microsoft from the announcement if you were affected by this and you are using Classic Outlook. And the issue is, Microsoft says, when you try to sync a Gmail account, in your Outlook profile or add a Gmail account, you may get one of the following errors. Now, this is the first error we are looking at where it says the browser or app may not be secure. Okay, so that's the first error. And adding a Gmail account to Outlook, you may also get this error, which is this one, where it says we weren't able to set up your Google account with IMAP. You may need to make changes to your Gmail settings. Now, Microsoft says that this error above, or what we're looking at now, can also occur if you do not have RMAP enabled for your Gmail account. And Google is in the process of removing that control, but it is still there in account settings for some users. Now, to let you know, the long and the short is that both these errors have now been fixed, according to Microsoft. And they say that the Outlook team released a fix that changes the sign in to open another browser window which addresses the issue. And if we just head over to that announcement, and by the way, I'll leave this announcement linked down below if you'd like some more information. The fix is now available in the following channels and builds. And you can just pause the video um, at this timestamp if you want to check that out more in depth regarding the channels and builds where they have addressed this issue. So just letting you know if you're still using the classic Outlook that that issue now, according to Microsoft, has been resolved. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.